Are you having trouble growing your back? Well, this is the video for you to watch. Let's get into it. All right, guys, this was gonna be a ranked best or worst video, but I changed my mind. I'm just gonna put together all the exercises that I love to do that I give you the greatest amount of stretch. You're gonna put your body in the best position to grow as much as you possibly can, and we're doing back today. So here are five of my favorite exercises that are gonna help you grow your back. Let's get into it. So first things first, guys, just remember, my parameters are always going to be around this. It has to be easy to do, easy to progress, and it's gonna give you the most amount of stretched and a lengthened part of the lift. And that's gonna grow the most amount of muscle. So for that, my favorite exercise is gonna be semi-supinated, ooh. Now I don't have a regular setup, but you can do this at your gym, everyone has it. Exactly where you do your pull downs, same thing. But for me, I like to do them this way. Why? Because as soon as I start to supinate and externally rotate, you can see, try it at home, if I just do this, I'm starting to pull down a little bit in my lats. I'm gonna feel it that much better and I'm gonna get a better stretch at the top of the lift. So for me, <laughs> if I'm sitting down in a regular pull down machine or just here, at the top of this lift from here, I'm getting a crazy amount of stretch in my lats. And when I pull, I get a crazy amount of contraction in my scaps. And then letting the weight go and letting it pull me back to starting position at the top of this lift, keep my shoulders back away from my ears. I'm getting a crazy amount of stretch in my lats and it's so much easier to feel because I'm already in a great position to feel my lats. So number one for me is gonna be semi-supinated cable pull downs. One hundred. Just joking. I didn't do a hundred. I only did three. <laughs> That's it. I should. All right, so number two for me is going to be neutral grip pull-ups. And why is it after semi supinated cable pull-downs? Well, for the most part, it's a lot harder for people to actually do. Not many people can do free weight or body weight pull-ups. And I'm also gonna get a little bit more bicep help, which still works for my back, but when I'm talking about like a stretch, easy to do and it's safe, obviously doing semi supinated cable pull-downs is gonna be a little better. But nonetheless, this, I'm gonna get a crazy amount of stretch. Now, if you can't do this body weight, you can just set yourself up with bands or, or an assisted machine. That way, when you do this, we can get the fullness out of this exercise, being able to pull ourselves all the way up and down. And for here, we're gonna get a great amount of stretch. We got a good bicep help, and then we get a great contraction at the top as well too, and doing them neutral grip, whether you have an assistance or body weight, it's gonna give you a crazy amount of stretch in this entire lift. So literally just for the sheer sake of it being an exercise that not many people can do and they have to go to assisted, it's gonna be number two, but it's gonna give you a crazy amount of stretch, it's safe, and it's kinda of easy to do. Either way, you're building muscle with this one. Number two for my favorite back exercises. Now this is one of my favorite exercises to do. The cable single arm high row. And well, reason why it's not number one, this is not my absolute favorite. But when it comes to a, an entire workout, I'm gonna have this in my workout in some way, shape or form. Why? Well, being in a seated position, I can really create good amount of leverage. Having my hand here at the top, and I can really focus on making sure my shoulder stays depressed. And then when I'm reaching, I can get a good amount of stretch from here while I'm in this great position here. And then I'm rocking back, I'm pulling the weight down, I get a good amount of, of scap retraction. So working my teres and this part of my back, as well as working my traps, rhomboids, and rear delts to create that thickness, this is one of my favorite exercises to do that I can isolate the lats, get a good stretch, super easy to do, super safe, and you're just getting all the gains. Yeah, it looks kind of familiar, but we're just doing 
a low row. And doing it like this is my favorite way to do it. Why? Because we have the bench to create a good amount of leverage to keep us on top of the weight. Because at the end of this lift, we can stretch it out and be in this great position where I'm getting a crazy stretch in my lats by, keeping, by making sure I keep my shoulders down while it's stretched. And when I pull right in, I'm feeling it all the way down to my lower lat. And the tension is totally consistent with this lift. Yeah, I really like doing dumbbells, but for this, I can really load it that much more and really use all of my back, my lats, and I have that much more leverage to really help isolate my lat. Why do I love this exercise and why is it at the end, if you love it? Well, the other movements I love because they kill a lot of birds one stone. It sounds bad. But when I'm doing a row exercises, I'm getting a crazy stretch. I'm, all, I'm getting my lats. I'm also getting my rhomboids, my rear delts, my traps. I'm getting my entire back, especially for those who are training for aesthetics or competing and you want to get everything working, those are my fave. When it comes to really just isolating your lats, they're going to be pull downs for me. And why not pull up? Well, I can load this a lot more, I have leverage, and it's basically the same thing as doing a pull up, only again, we're getting leverage right from the ground. So we can load this a lot more. We can load this a lot more. It's safe, it's very easy to do. But for those who can't do pull ups, can easily substitute this for pull-ups and work the way up until they're strong enough to actually go and do a pull-up. And again, why it's at the bottom of my list doesn't mean it's not good. It just means it's at the bottom of my list because all those other exercises are all encompassing for my back. And this one's a little bit more just for my lats and not the traps and rhomboids of redoubts. Those that help make your back look thick. So when it comes to my favorite exercises for a crazy amount of stretch to grow your back. They're easy to do. And it's safe. This is number five on my top five back exercises. They're gonna give you the best bang for your buck. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. For more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, you know how it is. Iron Chevron's Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep gym chasing. Peace.